Hello everyone, I'm Sean Castineira from the Bach Foundation. We're getting ready to perform a Bach cantata tonight, VWV 127. And um, as we're getting ready to do it, I was talking to Julia Doll today about a few things that we'd like to share with you. So, hello Julia. Hello. How are you? Very well, very happy to be here. Wonderful. You've been coming a few times. Yes, I, I forget when I started, but I think I've been here six times now. Right. I love it. And also, apart from the cantatas, you also performed and recorded the Mass in B minor last year. Yeah. Which we are releasing very soon. Exactly. That's so this year. Yeah. we're very excited about that. Yeah, I look forward to hearing the yeah. final results. Yeah. It was oh. a huge pleasure to record. It's just a wonderful project. Yeah, a huge piece of work also. Yeah, huge. But everybody <laughs> had so much energy, despite it being a huge work, because it was just such a positive atmosphere. Everyone was so happy all the time, and right. Rudy's energy was unbelievable. So. I think it will be a good result. Yes, it's coming up, so stay tuned. Um, I just wanted to ask Juliet to um, a few questions about the piece we're performing tonight. Um, it's a very, it's a very beautiful cantata, but it's also a very, uh, it's related to death mm -hmm. for the most part, mm -hmm. and particularly your aria mm -hmm. um, talks about that. It's mm -hmm. about the soul asking to die as mm -hmm. soon as possible. Mm -hmm to meet God, it's a kind of uh, litany in a mm -hmm. way. So I just wanted to ask you, what do you think about, how do you feel about this aria, and how do you see the connection between these text and the way Bach puts it into mm -hmm. music? It's an unbelievable aria. The first time I heard it, I think I was probably doing the washing up or something, and I wasn't concentrating, I didn't know what the text meant. And I thought, gosh, what a beautiful, but probably very miserable aria one of these stunning but very miserable texts. And then when I read the text, I realized it's completely the opposite. It's incredibly comforting and positive. And it's the, the soul is saying, I'm not scared of death. My soul is in Jesus's hands when I die, when I'm buried. The, bell, the death bells can ring, I'm not frightened. And it's the kind of thing I genuinely think when you're lying on your deathbed, it's incredibly comforting and uh, reassuring in the way he sets it with this sort of pulsating bass line and the flutes or the recorders is almost like a settling heartbeat maybe mm -hmm. and that's all the way through mm -hmm. and in the second half again the death bells the the um Sterbeglocken, are not what you would expect you'd expect a death bell to be very solemn and depressing but they're, they're really it's that the strings are playing pizzicato throughout and it's really it's really cheery and uplifting and warm and then he comes back to the A section where these, this stunning ethereal line is played by Andreas the Oboist so beautifully. And I think that's almost the, the journey of the soul. That's what I, what I, how I see it, the journey of the soul traveling from life to death. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also, we're almost duetting in that way. We're both right. representing the soul and perhaps one is from, one is in life and one is in death and then we sort of combine and end up on the same journey right. to death, I suppose. Right. So what I find fascinating about that is that you see it as a comforting area. Yeah, hugely. Uh, and I'm very curious about uh, what the um, reflexionist, so the, uh, the person who is going to um, lecture today about the cantata, about the mm -hmm. cantata text, because he's a doctor and he's mm -hmm. involved in uh, palliative care. So he, I suppose, I'm sure that on a daily basis his work has to do with people who are dying. Um, so yeah, I'm very curious to hear about his yes. way of dealing with this. Exactly. Because I'm sure that music, particularly Bach's yeah. music and Bach's religious music, does uh, play a comforting role for people who are Absolutely. in this situation. Yeah. So. I very... would I'd put, certainly put it on my playlist for when that moment comes. Right. <laughs> This is a difficult aria. I have the, the impression it has a very, very long lines, yeah. sustained notes. Yeah. Or I, is it easy to sing? The, the, the first section, it depends, we get the tempo right. The first section, I'm choosing to sing the phrases in one breath. I don't have to, but I'm planning to, which gives it more of a line, this ethereal line of the soul traveling up into the air somehow. I don't want to break up the line because it's so beautiful. So that is a challenge but I'm going to try and do it. But I mean, it's the same with all Bach arias. I, I 
genuinely, whenever I open a new cantata and I think, right, is this going to be a good one? And they're all a complete gift to sing. You really, it feels very natural to sing, apart from the long phrases. It's, um, it's just set beautifully. It's a huge pleasure to sing it, particularly with what's going on behind me. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Great. Well, we're looking forward to it and it's great to have you. Thank you. Wonderful to be here again. Nice Thank talking you. to you. You too. All right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.